Hi, welcome, Father H here. Have you ever wondered what is the proper process of entering an Orthodox water church? Well, Xavier Miskin, today we will be looking at a few important points that we should know before entering an Orthodox water church. So what are you waiting for? Follow me. Son and Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today, we'll be talking about a topic that I feel is very important for us, mainly the believers, and also for the non believers who want to come and enter and see the Orthodox Water Church. So, our topic today is, my brothers and sisters, when going to church to pray, what is the proper process of entering a Tawaito Orthodox Church? Praise the Lord. Xavier Miskin for allowing us this day, this opportunity, and this time to learn about this topic. And may God also open our hearts and open our minds to receive this information and implement it. Xavier Miskin. Okay, let's start off. First thing is first, I will go through the process as quickly as I can and try to explain them to you. Let's start off with the first one. So before entering the Orthodox Tulahara Church, what is the process? That's our topic today. Okay, first thing is first, before entering church, we need to wear a nezala. Very important. Now, a nezala is a white prayer shawl. It's long in measurement, allowing us to cover our bodies before entering church. So, first thing is what? Wearing our nezala. Secondly, before entering church, we show reverence by bowing from afar off. So, we show tahdina, reverence from bowing from afar off, or from outside the church before entering the church. So, I hope that makes sense. First, we said the nezala. We wear a nezala. And second thing is, we show reverence by bowing before entering the church. Now, in Psalms 138 verse 2, the psalmist has eloquently written the following regarding reverence for God's house. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name. Xavier Meska. So, as to Wahido Orthodox believers, we too also bow before entering church in reverence to God who dwells within. That's very important for us to know that. Now, before entering church, sometimes you will notice the faithful kissing the outside walls or wall or entrance door of the church. So sometimes you'll notice this. Now, I want to clarify here. When the mitmena, meaning the faithful, before entering church, you'll notice that they'll touch the wall, kiss the wall, and also the entrance of the church, the door. And you'll see them kissing the door and meditating and worshiping and praying to God Almighty. I want to clarify very clearly, my brothers and sisters, the Tawahido Orthodox believers adherents do not worship walls we don't worship objects we don't worship doors 
That's not what the faith we're doing. Basically, what we need to understand is that the house of God, Ecclesia, Kadisimita Christian, the holy church is holy. The temple of God is holy. God dwells in church. So the entire property is holy. So the mitmena, the faithful, would touch the wall, kiss the wall, kiss the door, not because they're worshiping the door or the wall, but because the wall, the door, or the doors of the church are very holy. So I just wanted to clarify that in case you visit Orthodox Water Church and you notice the men of the faithful are kissing the walls and the entrance of the church. So I hope that makes sense, my brothers and sisters. So again, we do not worship objects. We do not worship walls and doors. But we admire God. We love God. We appreciate God. We show reverence to the house of God. We show love. And that's why we kiss the walls and we kiss the door. May Xavier, God Almighty, open our hearts for more understanding. Amen. Thirdly, the third point, we take our shoes off at the entrance. That's very important for us to understand. So the third point is what? We take our shoes off at the entrance before entering church or Kadis. This is where the men on pray. This is what we refer to in English as the holy place. So again, let me repeat that. Very important. If you go visit any Orthodox Tawahiro church, very, very important. Do not enter the church with your shoes. That's a big no-no. If you want to visit the Eritrean Orthodox Tawahiro church, also our sister church, the Ethiopian Orthodox church, don't even think of entering the church with your shoes. It's very disrespectful. Okay? So again, my brothers and sisters, we take off our shoes not inside where Kiddus is or the holy place, but before entering Kiddus, holy place, at the entrance, we take off our shoes um, as a respect uh, in reverence to God's holy um, church, because the church, the entire church, the ground, the floor, the walls, everything else in the church, the entirety of the church is very holy. Now, I'll give you a verse that goes with this. In Exodus, Orit, if you go back in Orit in the Old Testament, in Exodus chapter 3, verse 5, just one verse, then he said, do not draw near this place. This is God speaking to Moses. Then he said, do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Xavier Meska, God is speaking to Moses and saying, this place, this ground is holy. So Moses Please take off your shoes. Is the church holy? Yes, it is. For this reason, when coming to church, before entering church, we take off our shoes at the entrance to show respect and reverence for God's holy church. Like we said before, the entirety of the church is very holy. Fourthly, the fourth point, when we enter church, we prostrate three times. Prostration means sigda. We prostrate three times, invoking the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we come into church, okay, and we prostrate sigda, bismā, wawad, wemen fasqadus ahaduamdak anien. So three sigda, we prostrate three times, invoking the name of the Holy Trinity. We praise God, we worship God, we glorify God in this manner. So this is the right process. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen.
So this is the right process, my brothers and sisters. So please, let's pay attention. The church is very holy. Ecclesia, the discipline Christian, is holy. When we come to church, we should not treat it like our homes or a friend's house, one of our compadres' house, or uh, like a club. No, the church is not like that. So when we come into church, we're not. We're supposed to act the proper way. Meaning, when we enter church, we don't just come in and say, hi to our friends, hi to our uncles and aunts, and give them a hug, give them a pound, and so on. It doesn't work that way. Especially during Kadassia, during prayers, out in the church, in the area we call Kadis, holy place, is the time for Tzolod. It's the time for prayer. So we come in in reverence, with our dinner. we focus on God, we pray to God, we glorify God, but when we enter, as I said before, we take off our shoes, we enter this holy place, and we prostrate three times, invoking the name of the Trinity. Exactly what's good for that. Now, I want to give you a verse that goes with this. In Psalms 95, verse 6, here's what the psalmist says. O come, O come, let us worship and bow down. O come, let us worship and bow down. Bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. And again, in Psalms 132, verse 7, just one verse, we find the following. We will go into his tabernacle. We will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. I hope that makes sense. We will worship at his footstool. So as I said before, when we enter, we invoke the name of the Trinity, worshiping Xavier, worshiping God Almighty. Xavier Mesquite. My dear brothers and sisters, I pray that now you are equipped, educated, and prepared before entering an Orthodox Tawahida Church. Now, I hope this makes sense. I hope now that you have an understanding before entering the church, what you should need to know and what are the process. May Xavier help you and give you more understanding. Knowing the proper process, said a Sarat, before attending church is essential. And I hope this mini explanation has broadened your understanding. Till next time, know and live Tawahro. May God be with you. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope this mini explanation has helped you. And I hope that we can learn from this, but not only learn from it, but also implement it and actually live it through Christ Almighty to the intercession of His Blessed Mother, our Blessed Mother, Maria, Holy Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos. Until next time, May God be with you all. Amen.